All right, good morning, Sunny Slope. Happy, beautiful Monday. And we got the little alphabet going on there. Uh, it only took me, what, three school days, but I finally got into Mr. JB's classroom. Uh, you might say, well, Mr. Rivas, where are the teachers today? Because they were in here planning together pretty much all last week. Uh, today is a virtual training for the teachers in the morning, so that's something they can easily do at home. Uh, they are working on becoming more proficient at operating and running a Google Classroom, uh, assigning and putting work on the Google Classroom, and that is an all-morning training, which can easily be done from there or at home. And everybody is logging on and doing that right now and working on that so that if we need it next year, we will be ready, right? Because that's our whole goal right now. Our whole goal is preparing for next year uh, in terms of whatever the future holds for us, right? Uh, okay, a couple quick announcements. First one, on Friday, and I apologize to Ms. Gilmer, I only have a student birthday list. I do not have a staff birthday list. Ms. Gilmer said, hey, Mr. Rivas, it's my birthday today. That was Friday. So a belated happy birthday to Miss Gilmer. Uh, and there were a lot of other birthdays. On Saturday, Jonathan Estrada, Alexa Rojas, and Aaron Bracamontes. It was their birthday on Saturday. Uh, and Sunday was Olivia Munoz's birthday, Davian Ramirez's birthday, Miley Driscoll's birthday, and Jimena Juarez's birthday. That is a lot of birthdays. We would have had a lot of cupcakes either today or Friday. That's right. You know what today represents? Today represents what would have been the first day of the last week of school, right? Because we would have been going to school from Monday through Thursday. We would have had an assembly today. I, I wrote it down, but I forgot. Sea Odyssey. Uh, you know, we probably would have had a talent show today. We would have had our hot dog cookout at some point this week. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It, awards assemblies, right? We would have... A, Oh, it's, a, it's an odd, strange time. We would have been a fun, busy, amazing week. So uh, you should have picked up your review packets. Remember, there are no more packets for right now, for this school year. There might be some summer school packets, but for migrant summer school and ESY, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But for us, for Sunny Slope, Wednesday, Thursday, no packet pickup. But there is still food pickup today. I know you can't see it from this window, but they are getting ready in the next couple minutes. They will be doing food distribution. Remember the five and five, five breakfasts, five lunches. Uh, so that will be today. Remember, all summer, tell your friends. Post it on What's Up Hollister. Post it on um, sunnyslopeisawesome.com. Is that a website? It should be if it's not. Uh, but tell your friends. Uh, let's see. That's birthdays. That's announcements. Uh, I know it's not required anymore, but remember, if you have a Chromebook or some type of computer at home, there are still some students logging on to Footsteps of Brilliance. Uh, Noe Acosta, the only double-digit student since the last contest ended on May 30th. Uh, I think he has 10 hours and something minutes, so nice job, Noe. Uh, but people still working hard. Gabriel and Eli Garcia. Uh, Gabriel, I think Hernandez, uh, another case of the Mr. Rivas scribbles. Uh, Zachael Avilas and Maya Martinez. And as a school, we have done over 100 hours since March 30th. So not bad, right? For something that's not required anymore, that you don't have your teachers putting on assignments or saying, hey, don't forget to do Footsteps of Brilliance. So not bad. Uh, so today's fun fact. Today's fun fact, June 8th is Best Friends Day. That's right. So if you have a best friend, give them a text. Uh, tag them on Instagram, uh, do something on Facebook, and this could go for moms, dads, whoever's watching. If you have a best friend, let them know you appreciate them today. So reach out to your best friend. And today's joke, I don't know if you're going to get this one, but we're going, we're going for it. Why are fish never good tennis players? Why are fish never good tennis players? Maybe you played it on the Wii. Is the Wii even still a thing anymore? Eh. It's the last video game system we owned when my, when my girls were young. We would do the, um, you know, like the Mario archery. Uh, I think we did the Wii bowling. Uh, I don't know what, sword, like the fruit cut. All right. Uh, why are fish never good tennis players? Because they never want to get close to the net. Because they never want to get close to the net. If you don't get it, 
Ask your parents. They'll explain it to you. Uh, and other than that, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it for today's Monday morning announcements. Remember, I will be making announcements all the way through Friday. Friday wouldn't have been a school day, but it is still a work day. It's a work day for me for a couple of weeks still, but for teachers, for everybody, uh, through Friday. All right, so until then, this is us wrapping up the first day of the last week. I want you to remember these words, and it's on our marquee. If you, uh, if you ever just want to see it, if you're ever sad, drive by. And remember these words, that I believe in you. If your teachers were here today, they would tell you that all of your teachers believe in you. And we know that no matter what we can do, I hope you said anything. Ladies and gentlemen, have an amazing day. Be awesome. Work hard every single day. Just because we're technically not really in school at all right now doesn't mean you can't read. Doesn't mean you can't practice writing. Doesn't mean you can't practice your math. Doesn't mean you can't get on the footsteps of brilliance. All right, do all of those great things and be awesome. Have a great day.